Are Fiskars still for sale? Yes. Is the dealership thing still a thing? Yes. Am I going to get my plates? Yes. Is Fisker bankrupt right now? No! No, they are not. Let's start at the beginning. And you know me, if it's not a low-res chart, it's a, a historical, historical example. example. Shouldn't that be an historic? It doesn't matter. There. Remember, this is not the first example. In fact, let's look at an example of a company gone bankrupt. Aston Martin bankrupted seven times since 1913. Lamborghini sold five times since 1963. Do these companies have anything in common with Fisker? Lotus brought to the brink twice since 1948. Citroen bankrupted two times since 1919. Let's take Citroen, for example. Still around, owned by Stellantis. Okay, bankrupt automakers can still exist after bankruptcy bankruptcy, but what actually happens with bankruptcy? Let's read through them, shall we? Chapter 11, the most complex and expensive type of bankruptcy, known as reorganization, typically used by corporations when they have a realistic chance of getting back on track. Assets, liabilities, balance sheets, reports, showing profits and regular earnings, expenditures, contracts, and leases to the bankruptcy court as leverage for the reconstruction plan, which describes how they will repay creditors and meet other financial obligations such as payroll and other taxes. The creditors review the plan and vote to approve it. The court can approve the plan and the debtor can begin implementing it. Profits go to creditors. Contracts become open to renegotiation. Assets are sold off if necessary. The debtor may be discharged of debts when the court has approved the reconstruction plan. And that's chapter 11. This is the most likely, almost entirely likely version of bankruptcy Fisker would go through if they indeed go through it. Stay tuned, I'll get into that. Chapter 7. Seven. This is the end game. This is liquidation, and it means exactly that. The business or individual has debts that can no longer be restructured, and they lack assets to even begin the process. The court appoints a trustee, and everything is sold. It's the fire sale option. Sole proprietors can be discharged of the remaining liability. However, corporations and partnerships are not eligible for the discharge in a Chapter 7 case. That's because they have the Chapter 11 option first. So, that's bankruptcy. Now, we have to talk about Fisker's bankruptcy. Let's see what people are publishing. According to the journal on Wednesday, Fisker hired financial advisor FTI Consulting and the law firm Davis Polk to work on a potential bankruptcy filing. Fisker declined to comment. The apple of autos, I like that. And more stats about stuff we already know. Nothing super interesting from Market Watch. At least Electric has a cool graphic to go with it. Fisker has hired restructuring advisors. They cite the 300% jump in deliveries in Q4. Mention of the profitability of the ocean already difficult to scale direct sales model correct electrex take quote people familiar with the matter end quote a history of spreading climate disinformation in the wall street journal article they mention ev demand is quote unquote sputtering here's what i'm going to jump on board with it is believable enough that the company would seek consulting especially after the recent quarterly report that warned this might be possible there's your nutshell none of this is a surprise but we all know the media loves to deliver these kind of messages as an atomic bomb type scenario. It doesn't mean Fisker is necessarily going to file bankruptcy and will have to stay tuned as far as which path they decide to take. I'm all in with all that. What happens if chapter 11 starts? At that point, Fisker becomes a sweet deal for somebody who needs IP that Fisker may possess. Like, I don't know, Nissan. Because remember guys, I already did a full bankruptcy breakdown scenario three months ago. You can check out that video here. If I were Geely or Stellantis, I would start thinking about about how many pennies on the dollar it would cost me to launch an EV brand that already has everything in place. For Stellantis, you've already got tons of brands and nothing you currently make in any market competes with the ocean, so no overlap issues. For Geely or Geely, it's just another smooth step in the Western market transition you're already a part of. The Fisker Ocean platform may continue to exist, which Nissan would use to develop that electric truck. So the Alaska doesn't end up getting made, but the Nissan version of the vehicle would be. And that could be good news for Fisker software even in the event that Fisker decides to end itself as a company or become a subsidiary of another company. So here's the reality. Fisker is currently a little startup that makes a nice car that's pretty cool. And if someone decided that they wanted to take Fisker over, well, it would be the easiest transfer of assets ever because Fisker is literally self-described as asset light. What happens to the stock of a company that goes bankrupt? When a publicly listed company ceases operations and goes into liquidation, the company's shareholders 
shareholders may be entitled to a portion of the assets. But we're not talking about liquidation, we're talking about restructuring. If it's a Chapter 11 bankruptcy, common stock shares will become practically worthless and stop paying dividends. The stock may be delisted, and a Q may be added to the stock symbol to indicate that the company has filed for bankruptcy. It's possible that shares may regain value as the company emerges from bankruptcy, or as part of the reorganization of debt, the company may cancel old shares and issue new ones, leaving little or nothing to the original shareholders. So if you thought Fisker shares were volatile yesterday, today they're volcanic. What's the good news? Because I've already been asked by multiple people to provide some good news. The silver lining is none of this is anything different than it was yesterday. It's just a Wall Street Journal article. Here's the Fisker website, 229.24, going concern. So, no news is good news, and as much power as the Wall Street Journal yields as a media outlet, technically, this is no news. If you're Fisker and you're a responsible company and you've already expressed going concern, the next step would be to hire someone to help you with said going concern. In fact, had Fisker done a little more consulting in the past, we wouldn't be talking about when and how the bankruptcy might be happening in the present. And that's all I have to say about that. That's all I have to say about that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You can join Patreon or be a YouTube member for early access to videos. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more. We'll see you on the next one because I'm not going anywhere. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you.